Hello all graphic 45ers, this is Olga Heldwein and today I would like to share with you how I created this altar tray with graphic 45 products. I'm covering all my tray with product that it's called Rusty. You will find all the links and info in the description box and I just apply generous amount with sponge and I'm trying to cover all my surface that I didn't cover the middle part of my tray because I will cover it with papers. So right now with 30 knots gel medium, I'm creating collage from scraps from different collections, mostly of the races and pieces of Alice in Wonderland. It's the beautiful a chess pattern that I really like to use in my work so I'm trying to save all the bits and pieces of this paper and I just store them in the separate bag with my graphic 45 stash and everything that it's color matching goes to the bag if it's too small to use in any kind of other project I will use it in the collage to seal my work I'm using clear gesso on top and at once I apply generous amount of gel medium on the bottom and then just stick it into my tray. Uh, to cover the edges I'm using some more scraps of paper and each one of them is sealed on top with clear gesso. Now I'm coming back to this rusty thing and this time I apply it with my brush and wipe off with a baby wipe. It looks really red when it's wet but when it will dry it will look like my paper take over some rustiness from the background. When background is done I'm starting with some elements. I stick most of them with 30 knots gel medium. It's really heavy gel and it will stick really nicely. This green thing inside lion head, I just fill it with air drying clay to have better grip uh, for my embellishment. From Communic Collection I took some chipboards and I create a base for my sentiment. I use different uh, letter stickers and I just create some sentiment on a not sticky uh, piece of paper and I put them in distance forms to have dimension. And you can see what kind of uh, stickers I use in the sentiment. When I'm done with lettering, that took me a really long time, uh, I assembling whole composition inside my tray together. I'm using some pieces that I cut out from papers, but mostly I'm using some chipboards from different collections. This gold frame that it's almost invisible in the background, it's painted mold print and uh, pieces like that and all the flowers I'm placing with hot glue because it's really the fastest way to put embellishments together and uh, after my piece is dry I just add a little bit of gel medium underneath to make sure that uh, you know the glue will not let go with time.
On the second day I decided that a little bit hints of gold will improve my work so off the cam I add a little bit of Inca gold. I just rub in uh, gold waxy paste with my finger. It gives really natural and nice look on each surface. It's really nice and cheap product and it looks amazing when you combine it with uh, Rusty. I'm really happy how this piece turned out and if you like my work and this video give me thumbs up and don't forget to step by on Graphic45 site and blog to check out amazing products and designs by whole design team. And I really have to mention that those lion heads are really awesome and I love them. Okay, it's all. Thank you for your attention. Have a nice and creative day with Graphic45. Bye bye.